Greek style baked feta wrapped in crispy fuel and drizzled with warm honey and toasted sesame seeds. An easy appetizer that brings the wow factor every single time. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing I did was to thaw out my phyllo dough, and now I have it in this tray beautifully positioned and covered with a linen cloth. This is very important, you guys, because you wanna keep your phyllo from getting too dry so that it won't break. We're gonna start with one sheet of phyllo. Got yourself some good extra virgin olive oil because you're gonna use this to brush the paper thin phyllo dough, very important. Start by lovingly brushing your phyllo dough with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. This will help it stay pliable and will help it not break. And you're gonna keep brushing as you're working with it so if you don't get every single spot right away, it's okay, just make sure that if you have some parts that have dried out a little bit, go ahead and treat those immediately with your olive oil. Grab your block of feta, making sure that it stays in one block. Now you're gonna go ahead and fold the phyllo from this one side here. Go ahead and give it a brush of olive oil right here. And you're gonna go ahead and fold on both sides of the block of feta. You're basically making a purse to envelope your beautiful block of feta cheese. We're gonna go ahead and roll it up and roll it up some more. And as you see it, if it needs a little olive oil in any part of the phyllo, go ahead and give it a quick brush. And just keep rolling. Now, of course, don't forget to brush the top. This is what will give it that beautiful, crisp, golden brown look that you're looking for. Look at that. Easy peasy. I'm gonna go ahead and make one more. Give it a brush of extra virgin olive oil. Grab your block of feta and again fold over here and again on this side. Go ahead and brush using the Greek Private Reserve Extra Virgin Olive Oil. So good. Very top layer, a nice good brush. All right, hard part is over really you guys. So this has to go in the oven, I have it. Heat it at 350 degrees. It'll take about 20-ish minutes. Just watch for the phyllo to turn that beautiful golden brown and it will be nice and crispy, so good. While the feta is happily baking, go ahead and work on your sesame seeds. Toast them up over medium heat in a skillet, no oil necessary, and just toss them around until they are nice golden brown color. Ooh, this looks great. This is the kind of thing that you want to serve nice and warm, so don't wait too long on it. Final finishing touches. Feta is nice, salty, and creamy, and super warm at the moment. A little bit of honey is the perfect pairing for it. Here we go. Sprinkle of toasted sesame seeds. And my final finishing touch here is just a sprinkle of fresh thyme, you guys. This is the kind of appetizer that is perfect for company. So you've got the crispy phyllo, the warm and creamy feta, a little bit of nuttiness from the toasted sesame seeds. But if you also wanna see another savory baked feta dish, check that one out as well on the channel. Grab the recipe for baked feta wrapped in phyllo on the mediterraneandish.com. I will see you later, ciao. Flavor party.